Hello, I'm Lynn Gilmartin from the World Poker Tour and this week we're celebrating our long-time partnership with Seminole Hard Rock in Hollywood, Florida. One of the staple stops on the World Poker Tour calendar. Our first ever event at Seminole Hard Rock was in Season 9 back in April 2011. The WPT Seminole Hard Rock Poker Showdown. Since then, we've seen more than $86 million in prize money be awarded across WPT Main Tour, Regional, Alpha 8 and Deep Stacks events, all hosted at Seminole Hard Rock. Now, it's a fan favourite that always attracts massive numbers. In fact, it holds the live WPT Main Tour record when in Season 12, the WPT Seminole Hard Rock Poker Showdown Main Event registered 1,795 entries. Another WPT record held under this roof is by Brian Altman, who is the only WPT champion to win the same event twice. He won the WPT Lucky Hearts Poker Open two times, and you'll be seeing a hand from one of those victories coming up in our countdown of five top hands on the World Poker Tour at Seminole Hard Rock in Hollywood, Florida. Enjoy. Has that kind of look? He does. He's got a raise, makes it 90,000. Very with himself after the last hand folds. Now Taylor Von Kriegenberg, our chip leader. Mm. Got Queen Jack, but that's good enough for him to raise. Yeah, he makes a 180. But Kurt Kohlberg with an interesting ace tennis spades. No, he checks that one. And Zaki also folding, so back on Vitas. He's gonna make the call for the action. As the cars are, Tommy has him dominated. Orange Dump King, 9-8, all hearts. Nice flop for Tommy Vitas. He's out in front now with the two kings. And he has a heart too, but he's gonna check it. Just run a little rope here. Taylor also checks. And now an ace comes off. It's a scare card for Tommy for sure. He checks. Look at this, Vince. Taylor is gonna represent that he has an ace in his hand. Something like ace 10, ace queen. Yep. He checked the flop. Now he's betting the turn, but Tommy's not going for it. He's calling with the Kings and the flush draw. Yep. Hoping to hit a flush, but no four clubs on the river. Again, Tommy checks. And now Taylor with absolutely nothing's gonna bet $2 million. Uh, he is setting Tommy Vitas all in here is what he's doing. If Tommy would lose this pot, he'd be out in sixth place. Call the mate. Let me tell you something. I don't know how you call your case oh, money here. Whoa. Kings, he's done it. He has made the call. Folks, I'm telling you, that is playing the game right there. You can see why he's got a WPT title to his credit. To make a call. Great call. Great call. Great call. So Andre Crooks looks down at two kings on the button. And courtesy of DraftKings, he'll get $1,000 added to his DraftKings account. But right now, he's looking to do a lot more damage than that. He is looking to double up here with these two kings. He is going to three bet it to 1.1 million. Now Ebanks, well, he's going to raise it again, Vance, at 2.3 million. 4.8. Few and far between, and yes, he's going to double it up again. So he bets about half his stack here. Going. Call. And he's going to push all in and a quick call, of course. And Andre Crooks in great shape to double up here. Two kings versus two nines. Here's the flop. Oh, and nine on the flop. Unbelievable. Wow. Just heartbreak for Andre Crooks right there. Not there. Four of diamonds. Crowd absolutely stunned. We are down to the river, and Andre Crooks must catch a king. Nothing else will do. Here it is. It's not to be for Andre. And that 10 comes off. That is just really, really tough luck for Andre Crooks. Nice pot potentially brewing. Here is the flop. It's a 10 10 4. So Scott flopping a full house just like that. Wow. Faraz here with the lead knows this is a difficult board for his opponents to connect with is gonna fire out. I don't mind this bet, but I would prefer it if he had a diamond on the flop to draw to. And Scott with his fours full just calling, and now the construction man, Jeff, with a piece of it, and he's gonna stick around with a call. This is tricky here, Vince. Hastings gets out of the way. Turn card. It's a seven of clubs, so now there's 
four clubs out there for construction, man. Jeff, as that well. Is bad news for Jeff. He's got too much hand to get away now. But as we know, he is essentially drawing dead. A 10 would deliver a chop any other card, and he loses. There's the bet by Scott with his fours full. He's betting a hefty 1.35. Scott, hoping that one of his opponents has a 10 and will put a lot of money in. Instead, Jeff, with a pair and a flush draw, has a decision to make. Action clock. Tony is ticking down to four seconds, and yep, Jeff wants more time. Okay. Because your opponents know you're going to make your decision That's faster right. than That's this true. if you have a 10. Oh, boy, he's making this call. Heavily invested. Jeff Fielder. Now, the thing you don't want to do is hit the flush <laughs> to keep you around. The irony is both so, these guys are oh rooting no. for a club, and there it is. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Jeff has hit his flush now. Well, and there's the all-in. And well. construction man has fallen off the scaffold. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. So Jeff Fielder out in sixth place. The first person to get thrown into the swamp here at the center of the hard run. Hey, I'm Dan picking up pocket aces. Raising to 425. Tony's gonna make the court call. King and eight That's good. This could be a trouble flop for Tony. You've got top here, top here, and the back to a flush draw. Dan bets. Tony calls before we can even the camera. Check min raised him. Wait, did he leave? He led. He let out. Yeah. Oh, now that makes more sense. Ooh, I don't like this at all. I don't know why we're leading here. Okay, so you saw Dan raise and handling like jack six on a seven five deuce rainbow. Now you see he balances that by raising strong hands in a similar spot. He's just grabbed a lot of plaques. No, this no, could Tony's be trouble. Tony's played such a good game. Don't do this. The lead was not a good idea. Raising more is a ferocious Oh, no. He's all in. And Tony moves all in. I can't. Dan's going to be making this call, but he doesn't look happy about it. Of course. Yeah. I don't know. What a big <laughs> shove by Tony. I mean, <laughs> now he's talking. This is this is where you get in trouble. You start. You have aces. You start talking. You're oh my God. Might talk hell? yourself into a fold. Tony's uh, happy to oblige and is talking back here with Dan Coleman. He calls. There we go. He's going to be very happy to see the King Eight. He still does have some equity. Obviously, any any King, any Eight, or running diamonds. Why am I so far this this ahead? this this much? There's it is. That's, that's the start of it. Diamond on the turn. The diamond king for this. Yes! Diamonds! Top set for Dan that is no good. The nut flush of Tony is going to take down this pot. And most likely. Either eliminate Dan or take the majority of his remaining chips. Mark is going to raise 900k. That's not good for Alright, so we'll go to the flop. Well. King 8 suited versus aces. Ooh. And that'll do it. Wow. That might just end our tournament wow. here, Jason. Wow, wow, wow. wow. What a flop. I mean, of course, the board, board can bear, but, uh, holy moly. Wow. That's a cool I mean, Brian's only going to on this flop. There's no shot. So this poor guy is just running. Yeah. Uh, twice now, he's just been absolutely dead. Cool. Plus, the one chance he had at doubling up, he gets rivered. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Poor Mark, I think. It's not going to matter this time, is it? Mark's all in. Brian will call. Let's find out what happens. Come on, man. Brian Resumer, a king of spades, eight of spades, using the nut blood. Mark has a set of aces, showing two red aces. We're going to see a turn card. 
Four clubs. Four clubs on the turn. All right, there you see it. Ten outs for Mark to win this spot and double up. Otherwise, All right, Brian Alden is the champion. Eight no, of it's an eight. That will do it. Brian Alden has won the Lucky Hearts Open and seven hundred twenty-three thousand dollars to take home with it. Congratulations. Mark Doobie, a great showing at this uh, at this tournament.